Hey everybody, I'm here with Richard Manna, the International Artistic Director of Label M. We're at the Alibi Salon in New York City, and you just did the coolest cut oh, on, on this model right here. I mean, it's a very different, a very dramatic before and after. Uh, can you just tell us how you got there? Yeah, basically we wanted to do a haircut that was inspired by fashion. We're seeing a lot of these shapes um, incorporated on the catwalks. A lot of professional models are wearing wigs, and you could call it the 80s mullet, but modernized with the cut, with the color. I think it makes it look younger and fresher. So basically we wanted to work a beautiful, you know, disconnection in front of the ear. So you've got this beautiful piece through there and then drop it to length through the back. Shorter layers, so it gives it more of an 80s influence. And then just freshening up the whole image with the fringe. And I think that gives you a really nice, fresher approach and make it almost look as though she's been cutting it herself and that I think you know with that freshness to it it gives it that edge and it makes it an integral part of the whole shape. Right, and one thing that you talked about is that when people try to create something on the edge they'll go in with thinning shears and you do extremely deep point cutting but vertically on yeah. Do you have your scissors right here? I don't have them with me, no. <laughs> no. But, you know, tell us why you do that. I think what's very important for us, the way we work, is we put a very strong structured technique in there. Once that's dry, then we can reduce the weight and personalize the hair to make it more individual to that person. Um, and so what I was saying about the thinning shears is I, I don't normally, and this is a personal thing, not a right or wrong thing, I don't normally pick it up and just ha hack away with thinning shears because it makes the ends of the hair too weak, and I don't want that. I use the actual shears scissors and work them through to reduce a lot of that weight and texture that we have here through the top. So again, it's not, it's not a right or wrong thing. The way we do education is we never dictate what's right or wrong. We only share what works for us. Yeah, and I loved it. At, you, during the course of the cut, you said, all right, you know, I think I'll go with a softer fringe. Yeah. You know, you, you, once you saw everything else. It makes sense yeah. at the end, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, it's so cool and everybody loves it. Thank yeah. you. And for us, you know, it's about the cut, it's about the color, it's about all of it being fused together, but above all, it's about suitability and individuality. And I think, you know, when you look at her in the camera, it suits her. The color sits nice in her skin, the shape suits her, the fringe, it actually works on her. Not many people can carry this uh, color off, but I think, you know, Chloe can, and it looks very nice. You can see the layers shorter with the length, and it gives it a very modern 80s shape to it. That's so great. And right when you were finished, she turned you and said, what did you say? What did I say? I don't even know. You said, I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't even see it until like, oh, maybe 15 minutes after I went back. So it was all like totally surprise. a surprise for me. And I love it. I feel really avant garde now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's icing on the cake. Exactly. So again, thanks for giving that, us this time. Yeah. Pleasure. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank you.